Hey, you're watching Vinyl 4 Miles, your best resource for music, audio gear, and vinyl reviews. Today, we stepped outside of my studio. We're in my listening area, and I'm gonna share four tips with you on how to upgrade your vinyl storage cube and vinyl storage areas. Stick around. All right, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new here, what we do is vinyl reviews, audio reviews, pretty much anything to do with music, I'm on it. Today, it's a continuation on how to store and protect your records. I'm gonna go over some tips on how to upgrade your listening area. All right, so I do have four tips for you guys. The first two are gonna have to do with how to organize your collection better. Uh, and then the second two are functional and they serve as kind of spicing up your listening area. It makes it look cool, but it also adds some great features that you can use when, let's just say it's darker out or if you're listening with friends and you don't have a whole lot of light. All right, so diving into the first tip. For me, my listening area gets extremely messy when I get new records. Sometimes I don't have the time to organize it or redo my alphabetical order of records to make room for new additions. So my first tip for you guys is to get a new arrival bin. Now you can pick these up at Lowe's, you can pick them up at Michael's, they're all over the place. I have mine right here, Whoa, which is full of quite a few records I haven't actually put into my collection yet. I picked this up for $8 from Lowe's. It's not a perfect fit and I had to cut a piece of cardboard to put in the bottom so the records don't fall through the slots, as you can see. Uh, but I did sand it and I stained it to match the finish of my storage cube area. I just put it to the side and then when I have new additions, I stack them into this box. But overall, it's a great way to declutter your area. I mean, I used to stack records in front of the cube that I haven't organized yet or put into my collection. So now I just have this box, and then once this box is full, that's, that lets me know, all right, dude, it's time to put these records away and make room for more additions. I'm gonna put some links below to where you can find some of these bins. And again, just sand it down and you can put the finish on to match your storage area. So that was my first tip. Get yourself a storage bin for your overflow or new arrivals. Diving into my second tip. This has to do from a pure functional standpoint. It also gets rid of one of the most highly annoying things about storage cubes. These are called backspacers. This is from a brand called Turntable Revival. I'm gonna put their website below. They have a few options. These are the wood premium version. They also have some plexiglass versions. But what these do is they sit in the back of your storage cube so your records have somewhere to stop. So if you were to think of my hand as the end of my storage area, when I'm putting away my records, sometimes it can go all the way through the cube. And if you have enough room in the back, your records can even fall through and hit the bottom. What this does is it provides a stop for your records. So your records will hit the back of this and then in the very front, everything will look perfectly flush. All your records will look even. They're not gonna be sticking out to different directions. And I'm gonna go ahead and install some of these and show you the features. So what I have here is the standard is set up on this cube and then the skinny is set up on this cube. And you may not be able to see it from your perspective, but this is the skinny. This is the standard. So these sit in the very back of your storage cube area. I'm gonna show you a shot of that right now. And basically your records are gonna sit flush against this. They're not gonna go all the way through. They're not gonna go through the back of your storage area. Uh, and it keeps everything nice and tidy and equal. So the standard here will put your records exactly flush with the outside of your storage cube area. The skinny, which I have installed here, it puts it back about one inch, which gives you room to put underlit LED lighting if you wanna light your cube up. It gives you room to pull like your sorting cards A through Z out a little bit so they stick out in front of um, your records without you know being in danger of breaking off or someone walking past them. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the skinnies on the rest of my entire storage area because I am gonna be installing lighting. Okay, so now that we have the backspacers installed, I think they look great. Gives me about an inch on the lip of the top of my storage cube to put some lighting in. There's many different options for lighting. This portion was not sent to me by a company. I actually just did a deep dive on Amazon to try to find a really good light strip and then I bought a bunch of connectors. I actually shot this video about a week ago with pre-cut strips. There were 12 inch strips that were supposed to fit inside these cubes, but they did not. And you have one of these Walmart Better Home and Garden storage cubes. It's not gonna fit in there. 
primarily because of the connectors that go on the outside. So unless you wanna modify your storage cube and cut it open, I don't suggest doing that. And what I have here is 36 feet of LED lit strips. So I did buy this kit by itself. I'm gonna put the link below. And then I bought this kit here, which is about 30 pieces of adapters. What this will let you do is put the light strip at the top, make an angle, make another right angle, and then pull it back. So you basically can do every one of your cubes with an LED strip. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and pull my storage cube out again, and I'm gonna start installing these light strips all right, so I have my LED light strips here. This is going to be used for the top. This is going to be used to the bottom of my storage cube area. So first thing I'm gonna do is route the power in the back. I'm gonna mount this on the back too, so it's out of sight. And then you're gonna to need to go through and measure your storage cube. Uh, I recommend that you definitely empty it one cube at a time. I don't know if you wanna take all your records out, um, but what I'm doing is just one cube at a time. I'm taking the records out. I'm gonna mount the light strip, leave it open, put the records back. Take the second cube out, mount the light strips, so on and so forth. And once you get the measurements down, it's just gonna be a, a simple process you repeat for each cube. All right, so I got the first two cubes done. Um, unfortunately, these connectors did not work out as I anticipated. Uh, there's certain cut points on the LED light strip and it's usually like every three LED lights you can cut the strip and reseal it using these. I bought a ton of them. <laughs> thinking I'd be doing all these right angles, but it, it just doesn't line up to fit my cube. So luckily uh, the strip is very pliable and you can fold it. So what I'm doing here is when I get to the end, I actually just fold the strip down like this and angle it. And then I start going on the inside. I mean, so far the first two cubes, they look pretty cool. Um, it hopefully will look even better when I put my collection in there. It's definitely taking way longer than I thought it would. So I'm gonna finish up the top row. All right, so I got the entire top row done. Oh my God, that took forever. Uh, like I mentioned, I couldn't use my adapters, but I did have enough LED light strip to put some lights on the back to kind of backlight the entire area too. So now I'm gonna move on to the bottom, which will probably take me another 30 minutes or so. So keep in mind, this is not a short job and it is a lot of trial and error to get this to fit your specific cube storage area. I haven't found anything that's specific to this size cube, which is 13 by 15. So just be patient and keep trying and you'll eventually get it. So I'm gonna go move on to the bottom. All right, so I got everything in place. That took quite a while, but it's done. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's pretty bright in here. So I'm gonna try to get some more footage of this when it's darker. I did have more than enough LED strip left to actually do the back of my uh, storage cube. So the back of this thing should light up, the front should light up. Uh, it did come with this remote and you can also use your phone to control the colors. Overall, I'm glad I made it work. Folding it seemed to be the better route since I can make it fit exactly the width of the cube. All right, so now we're gonna jump into the final suggestion I have here to basically pimp out your entire storage area and that's for efficiency when finding your records. If you have more than 100 records, it's definitely worth the money to alphabetize your collection and get some cue cards, index cards, sorting cards, whatever you want. I got some sorting cards, horizontal sorting cards that you can use for a filing system. They have metal tabs on the end, but we're gonna set those up next and show you how to easily get through your collection by alphabetizing it. When it comes to indexing your collection and creating guides, it can be extremely expensive. You can check out something like this, which is made on Etsy. It's a wooden alphabetized card that sticks out. It's visible on both sides, or you can get something with plexiglass. There's all kinds of different options. I don't have that kind of money to spend on identifying my record collection, so I wanted to go cheap. I found this used actually on Amazon, and it's Smeed, and they're called file guides, horizontal file guides. And what they look like is this. It looks like a normal filing cabinet index card where you can alphabetize whatever you're filing, but it's horizontal. So it's not going to be a vertical card, it's horizontal. It actually measures almost exactly the size of a record, so this tab should stick out and identify the collection. It's on both sides. The tab is actually metal, so it's pretty durable. And I got this for $3. There you have the letter C as the identifier. You then just go into your collection. So I already have A put in here, I already have B, and I'm gonna find C. So here's where C starts for me. You just slide it into your collection and that's it. So now I have A, B, C. So I'm gonna follow that process and put together uh, A through Z, get all my index cards and my file guides done. I'm gonna install them and then show you guys how it looks.
All right guys, so there you have it. These are my tips on how to upgrade your vinyl storage area. First thing we did was we added this nice bin for overflow or new additions to your collection. You could put it here until you're ready to index it into the main cube. We put backspacers on the back of my storage cube. Again, this is from Walmart, Better Home and Gardens. I am giving one pair away. Leave a comment below as to why you think this will improve your storage area and you could get one of these for free. I will ship it to you as well, 100% free. We put my labels in here or our file guides. So now I have my, my record collection indexed A to Z so it's easy to get to. And then finally, we put these really cool LED lights in. So not only does it assist with like reading the spine labels when it's dark, but it also looks really cool. The strips that I bought off of Amazon, they do come with a remote. You can control them with your phone and there's some really cool features. So you can do stuff like fade, which will fade through different colors and you can actually make it fast or slow. So as you can see here, it'll cycle through different colors. It does like a smooth transition. Um, there's flash <laughs> that basically jumps through a bunch of different colors. I mean, I don't know when you want to use this, but another really cool feature is there's a microphone that actually comes on this kit and you can set it to go to music. So now I'm in music mode and you can see it's following my voice. There's a few different ways you can use the music mode. This one always has the colors on. I dig this one because it turns them all the way off. So if you had your music loud, it follows the music using the microphone. Super cool feature. So yeah, I mean, these LED lights are a lot of fun. They're cheap, I'm linking them below. All right, so there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That helps me figure out which videos you like, which videos you don't like. Check out my vinyl storage solution video up here where I go over the best way to store and protect your records. Here's some more gear reviews I'm going to be promoting up here as well. Um, if you like this content, I really appreciate it. Subscribe so you can stay in the loop when I release new content. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Until next time, I'm Michael. See you.